Celine, she went to Gucci. I ride with some harness on me, I got a blue cheek. Hey you guys, it is Ari Beauty and I am back with another video. I know it's been a while, don't kill me. I've been really booked up, like my clientele like literally shot up so I did not have time to do anything besides my clients. So I kind of put everything else kind of to the back. But now I made a new schedule so now I can fit in recording more content for you guys. Didn't have time to do my makeup or anything because I didn't plan on recording, but I have a nice little break before my next client comes. So I figured this would be the perfect time to record. So this video is gonna be, as you can see in the title, it's gonna be about tips on building clientele. So this video is gonna be really, really detailed because this is things that I wish I would have known before and I had nobody to tell me. I just learned along the way. So I'm not gonna ramble too much. I'm gonna just get right into how to build your clientele. It doesn't have to necessarily be for hairstylists. It can be for anybody in the service industry. So the first thing I can say about building clientele now, I know it's hard to build clientele when you don't have anyone to use as a model or anything like that. So pretty much I use myself as a model for a lot of things and a close friend or family member that actually supports you, not just anybody, just someone who actually really supports you and promotes your business and everything like that. So that's the perfect person that you can use to promote your services. So I would definitely say make sure you have at least one or two people in your life that you really feel like support you and photograph well. That's another big thing. And those would be the perfect people to do services on beginning, maybe for free or for very, very discounted amounts, I would say. So, yeah, I would not say go on social media or go around and ask for a model because those are people you're only going to attract the type of people that come when you have a free service or anything like that, they usually do not work out well and they usually don't come back once you start charging for that service. So that's a big no-no. We're just going to find people that support us and want the best for our business. And yeah, so first one is, what did I say? Finding someone that supports you and photographs well and you can use them as a model to build your portfolio up so that new clients can see it and see that okay she actually knows what she's doing he or she whatever the service is they know what they're doing so let me go to them because i've seen pictures of their work so that's one now this ties right into the last one where i said posting consistently your post needs to have substance so i would say don't just post anything because that won't be effective. You need to post something relating to business, if not your business. So anything business related in the field that you're in, post something relating just every time. You know, everybody's schedule is different. Just set a schedule that works for you and what you can realistically do. So that'll be perfect. That way they see you every day and good content is the key. If you post blurry pictures or pictures with 50 million different backgrounds it might not attract anybody so make sure you have a consistent clean background make sure that the lighting is good that's another thing that just reels people in when they see really crisp videos they love that so just make sure your lighting is on point the picture quality is on point and your caption is on point too. You don't have to really go into long, lengthy details and all that. Just make sure it's a cute, simple caption, not, you know, not nothing irrelevant, you know, just kind of make it tied towards what you're doing, make it a little catchy or something like that, but just make it make sense, basically. Another thing that I like to do is build a relationship with those loyal customers clients or whatever type of thing you do um basically make them feel really really comfortable try to make the best experience for them so they can come back refer people tell everybody about their experience with you also um i kind of have it where they can leave me reviews so that's another thing i kind of give them a sin an incentive to leave me a review so like 
I'll send them a email like I think a day or two afterwards. I forgot how I have it set up, but it sends them an email inviting them to leave a review for $10 off their next booking. So who doesn't want $10 off their next appointment? I mean, come on now. So of course they leave a review and that helps other people see like, okay, she's really good at what she does. She has a lot of good reviews. And also they get their $10 off their service. So everybody's happy. So I would say make sure your customer service is on point so that they leave good reviews and also do the best that you can in what you're doing to make sure they have the best experience. I mean, realistically, you can't please everybody, but at least try to please everybody. You know, if it makes sense, just, just try. You can't, like I said, you can't please everybody, but there's a high chance if you're doing your best, you're going to please them. But some people can be pleased. This is time back to the content thing. Um, I know a lot of people aren't really good at making their own flyers from scratch. I'm one of those people. I do not have the creativity to make my own flyer from scratch. I just can't do it. It's just, I just can't. So I go on Etsy and Etsy has a lot of templates that you can choose from. You just type in like hair flyer or booking flyer or appointments available or whatever type of flyer you're looking for and they already have the template only thing you have to do is go in and change all the words to your words your their logo to your logo and add your website your own pictures or whatever so etsy is my best friend that's how i do all of my graphics and everything like that um it ranges from like a dollar to like ten dollars or whatever they have different prices but i always stay between the five and ten dollar range so that way, you know, I'm not spending a whole lot on it, but at the same time, I'm still getting a little creative with the content, have something cute to post. So I would say get on Etsy, start making some flyers, print them off, go post them places, pass them out, you know, things like that. That really helps because a lot of people will, I get a lot of my clients, they were like, I saw your flyer, that's what attracted me to you. So that means you're doing something right. So just make sure your content is really cute. Like even on Instagram, if I'm on Instagram scrolling and I see somebody post a really cute flyer with a caption, I'll share it to my story and then I'll go follow them because I'm like, okay, those are cute. I want to see if they post more, you know, flyers like this. So I end up going to follow them. So there's a chance that other people might think that way about you. If you post something really cute, they're like, oh, okay, I like that. I want to see her post more. So they'll go to your page, follow you. And that's how you kind of build a following base and stuff like that last thing i want to say is manifesting and i want to really break down what i mean by manifesting because a lot of people think you okay i'm gonna be a millionaire then you go to sleep and then you're gonna wake up and be a millionaire and that's not how it works manifesting is saying okay i want to make twelve thousand dollars this month okay you know i'm gonna make twelve thousand dollars this month and this is what I'm going to do to make $12,000 a month. And then you get up and you do the work and you manifest as you're doing the work. So that is what I mean by manifest. I don't mean just say things and then just lay on your back and wait for it to magically happen. I mean, say what your goal is and actually put in that work to get towards that goal. That helps me a lot. Every month I set a new goal that I want to accomplish. Like the past month I was like, I want to have at least three clients a day. What can I do to bring in three clients a day? I can do a deal, you know. I can do a bestie kind of deal. Um, I can extend my hours. I can add a new service. I can promote this more than this one. And, you know, just stuff like that. Or I can do a referral system to get them to bring more people. Like, you have to do the work. You can't just say something's gonna happen and you don't put work behind it because it will never work for you if you don't so that's my last one and if you do all of those things consistently i can guarantee you your clientele will skyrocket from where it is now and yeah thank you for watching hope you like comment and subscribe i'm gonna be posting more frequently um, I kind of got a new schedule going on.
so that I can get more videos out and then do my other things as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.